Hello everybody, my name is Jason Ergang and this is Disobedient Minds, the video lecture series for my 9th grade ELA class at Western International High School in Detroit. Stories are everywhere. As a species, we've been telling each other stories since we first figured out we could use charcoal to make paintings on cave walls. The idea that drives Disobedient Minds is simple. Regardless of medium, the creation and study of stories remains constant. As you transition from middle school ELA to high school ELA, you also transition into learning not only the fundamentals of the English language, but also analyzing how stories are constructed. Now some students get frustrated with the study of literature. Stories seem impenetrable, and engaging in analysis seems mysterious or overwhelming. However, the truth is, stories all follow reliable patterns, not so different from mathematical formulas. Today I'll be introducing you to the fundamentals of literary analysis the five elements of story. Every story in the Western tradition of literature is made up of five different but equally important parts. Think of the elements of story as the machinery of storytelling. Like the engine of a car, several different parts all make up one working machine. When all the parts are in place, the story can function and move to its destination. Now, in no particular order, these parts are Plot is the five-step pattern which most stories follow. Plot generally occurs in a particular order which we will cover next time. By following the traditional order of exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution, stories begin and end in a satisfying way. No story can occur without characters. Characters are who and what the story is about. Great characters are important because they are the reason we become invested or interested in a story. From the comedic stylings of Archer to the grim, hard-bitten legionaries of Centurion, characters drive a story forward with their personalities and their choices. Conflict occurs when characters are challenged by someone or something. Conflict comes in many forms, but it always forces the characters to make hard decisions. The young boys of Stranger Things must face down the otherworldly, insectoid monster of the Upside Down if they hope to get their friend Will back, all while trying to unravel the mystery of their super-powered new friend, Eleven. Setting covers the time and place where a story occurs. A good story needs a strong sense of place if it's going to keep us interested. Examples of strong settings include Bates Motel with its brooding coastal city, Attack on Titan with its claustrophobic urban sprawl, or Scrubs with the brightly lit halls of Sacred Heart Hospital. And finally, theme is the lesson about life or the human experience that a story is trying to teach us. Whether it's arguing for the nobility of the small town sheriff in Longmire, or illustrating the dangers of having too much power and ambition in Narcos, every story is trying to teach you something about life, the world, or yourself. Regardless of medium, Nearly every narrative contains the five elements of story, and understanding these five elements is foundational to all critical analysis. You'll be surprised at how easy it becomes to both read and understand a narrative when you pull back the curtain and reveal the reliable patterns occurring just out of sight. This has been Disobedient Minds, proudly brought to you from Western International High School in Detroit, Michigan.